Now, you're not going to like this if you are as opposed to CRT as I am. There are huge problems with the presuppositions of critical race theory. And I think we've addressed those in our messages and sermons throughout, but it's, it's like... Some people out there have learned Still some particular signals, and if you don't make those signals, then they don't understand. Were the signals sent? This is Wretched Radio. That was the voice of Dr. Mark Dever, Capitol Hill Baptist Church, Washington, D.C. Conversation with Dr. Ligon Duncan prior to the recently held final Together for the Gospel Conference, promising there would be crystal clarity regarding critical race theory. Was the promise fulfilled? You be the judge would like to share with you much of the conversation that happened in a panel discussion. Mark Dever is moderating the panel discussion. You're not going to hear his voice because he didn't say anything one way or another. He simply asked questions, asked for a response. We are in the process of listening to his sermon and Ligon Duncan's sermon to see if they did indeed Make it crystal clear where they stand on CRT. You're not going to learn where they're at with this particular session because it's the Q&A with Pastor Kevin DeYoung and Pastor Bobby Smith. You perhaps know Kevin DeYoung, whip-smart Presbyterian. You probably don't know Bobby Smith. He's the pastor of discipleship at Community of Faith Bible Church in Los Angeles, California. Have to say it, Kevin is white. Bobby is black. And Mark moderated the panel discussion between the two of them. And I think it's worth a listen because Kevin DeYoung strikes me as always being a fellow who is not a moderate. I think he's a conservative kind of guy, but he moderates his tone. He considers his language. He tries to be thoughtful. He engages the other side to see, all right, is there anything there for us to consider? And yet, I think he's still very conservative, even though he tries to speak in a way that I think you'll perceive as, all right, he's he's being fair here. Now, please note this. I'm not sure you're going to agree with everything that Kevin says. But I do think that he's worth a listen. And then we'll listen to Bobby Smith because I think that he shares at least a couple of things that can cause us to go, all right, okay, that's a that's a helpful insight. Now, that doesn't mean that he persuaded us that CRT is a good thing. He himself said, I'm not really a proponent of it, but he sees it more as a helpful tool to assess cultural issues. I disagree with that. And so did Kevin de young three thoughts relative to critical race theory number one it is possible and not just possible but it has happened that critical race theory becomes a quick accusation to silence discussion now you're not going to like this if you are as opposed to crt as i am But it is, I think, a reasonable warning that before we just slap somebody with a label that gets used in all kinds of, with a semantic range that is very vast, that we at least before saying, hey, that's CRT, maybe we take the time to make sure that if somebody is talking about the subject of racism, that that we don't make a snap judgment. Somebody quotes from Frederick Douglass, somebody is preaching from Amos, someone brings up oppression, words like that, critical race theory, CRT, end of discussion, are you a liberal, you're a Marxist. That happens, it can shut down conversations, it's not helpful. All right, question, are you willing to digest that critique? And if necessary, make adjustments. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. But I think, I think, considering the amount of baggage that CRT lugs along with it, it would be as if you said something that appeared to folks who are proponents of CRT that appeared to be in the slightest bit racist, and they said, KKK. You'd go, whoa, 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 hold on a second. First of all, I'm not making a racist comment. Second of all, I'm not a member of the KKK. 
I think that's reasonably analogous. And that's number one. Yeah. Second, <laughs> critical race theory is a thing. I mean, it is a thing. It's not just a label. It's not somebody affixed it to it. It's not people didn't like something and we'll give it. A, it, it is a thing. It has a history. It comes out of legal theory. It's become something more than that. I don't purport to be an expert. Uh, it's not my dissertation on critical race theory, but it is a thing. There are whole books. There are readers on critical race theory, proponents saying, here's what critical race theory is. This is an important point because Kevin DeYoung is stating, hey, people have codified. People have taken the time to say, this is our credo. This is our value statement. This is what it intends to do. In other words, it has been clearly defined. And the definition of it is this, that there is a group of people, exclusively, it seems, white people, who have been the oppressors. Black people have been the oppressed. Everything gets filtered through that grid. That's what CRT is, and it intends to divide. It intends to have equal outcomes for everybody, everybody at the same level. That is what CRT is. It smells like socialism because, well, that's what it comes from, is Marxism, a, a, a Gramscian Marxism, but nevertheless, that's why it smells like socialism. That's what it is. And the reason that this is an important point, as you're going to hear from Kevin, is that there are people who are going to say, hey, the thing is a helpful analytical tour, tool. Bobby says that. He, it, it, look, it can help us to understand some stuff. And you're going to hear Kevin say this. He's going to say, wait a second. That's not what CRT is. It wasn't meant to be a helpful analytical tool. It has already observed and addressed the situation in society and have defined it as oppressor and oppressed. That's what it is. So if you say that it's just a helpful analytical tool, well, you're not, you're not saying what critical race theory is. And that is why Kevin DeYoung is laboring to say, uh, no, hold on. There are actual definitions here of what this thing is and does. And to the degree that critical race theory can help people see the experience of minorities in this country has often been worse than the majority thinks, harder. Racism has been more pervasive that we didn't do away with racism in 1964 or 1968, that it continues to exist and exists more pervasively than whites may think. All of those are necessary things to be said. I want to say that without clearing my throat. Now, that is a very nuanced statement, so I don't want to put words into Kevin's mouth. I'll just speak words from my mouth. I don't think critical theory does that. I, I don't think it does help us assess, certainly not in a biblic, biblical way. So I, I don't think it does that. Now, did Kevin just say it does? Well, you be the judge. I don't know that he went that far, especially considering his third point. Third comment. However, I don't think that is the essence of critical race theory. I think those insights can be found and need to be heard and can be found and heard elsewhere. I think critical race theory from its own purveyors says much more than that. It has, by its own definition, a revisionist view of American history. It has a view of intersectionality that all of these things could, should converge. It has a view of interest convergence, which says that whites have only supported means to ameliorate racism in this country when it serves to work towards their own benefits. I think there is in critical race theory, uh, by their own definition, a presumption that disparities by definition are the result of racism. That's not to say racism hasn't contributed, but presumptively to say disparities equal discrimination is, I think, wrong and not helpful. And I think most of all, most damagingly of all, I think it pushes us in a direction that is not 
gospel, meaning it pushes us rather than to see all of the things that we most have in common with one another. And I'm not advocating a sort of ignorant color blindness, I don't see color, I don't even know that anybody's black or Asian. Of course, that's, that's silly and to the degree that people say, say that, that's really unhelpful. Yet critical race theory pushes an aggressive color consciousness so that the neutrality before the law is seen as suspect. I think that is anti to the sort of impetus we should have as gospel ministers to say, we have the same sinful nature from Adam, he was our father, we're the same need of the same savior. That doesn't mean that we don't have other earthly identities, but the way to transcend and to acknowledge centuries of hurt and pain is found in those things that we have most in common, not in identities that most divide us. Three points from Dr. Kevin DeYoung at the Together for the Gospel conference. He was sitting in a panel discussion moderated by Mark Dever. You have not yet heard from somebody who has a different take, but you will next on Wretched Radio. If you would like to watch the entire clip from this episode, just skedaddle to our website, wretched.org. Oh, don't worry. Your cake is going to be ready for your baby shower. Just putting the finishing touches on it now. Perfect. Yes, ma'am, you can pick it up at noon. It's just... Beautiful.